President Trump issued two pardons yesterday, one to Patrick Nolan, a former Republican state legislative leader, and the other to my next guest, former media baron, historian, author, Conrad Black. In 2007, Black was convicted after prosecutors accused him of, quote, several acts of mail fraud and obstruction. That's worth noting that several of these convictions were struck down by the U.S. Supreme Court, but Black still served 42 months in prison, got a sen sentence cut short, but not short enough, and he was forced to leave the United States upon his release. Now, despite all of this, as well as pleas for his clemency from luminaries of every political persuasion, this was the reaction today. President Trump is handing out pardons like a very large bunny who loves rotten eggs. Usually you have to exhibit some kind of remorse if you're going to get a presidential pardon, and Conrad Black has not exhibited that. So if you find yourself in a bit of a legal pickle and you're now wondering how to get out of prison, you might want to think about writing a glowing book about President Trump. Here exclusively in his first American interview since his pardon is Lord Conrad Black. Conrad, everybody knows that you and I have known each other for a long time, and I've spoken about your absurd case for many, many years and written about it. But your reaction to those who say that this was just your flattery that won you a pardon? Uh, uh, Laura, for, thank you for having me on. Uh, my reaction is I have absolutely no reason to believe that the president is even aware that I wrote that book. He certainly has never mentioned it. And, and in any case, anyone who has read it can see that it is not uncritical. It's no whitewash. It points out some of the less salubrious aspects of his career. And I am not uncritical of him. In general, I am a supporter for policy reasons. And he was at pains to say when he phoned last week that his motivation, and he authorized me to say this, urged me to say this, was not that we've known each other a long time or that I've been generally supportive of him. It is that after careful examination by the White House counsel and his legal staff, they confirmed what Alan Dershowitz and other lawyers said on my behalf. And the president's own words were, it was an unjust verdict, and I never should have been charged, and it was a bad rap. Those were his motives. If he, if he handed favors out to his friends, then, you know, there, there would be, you'd have uh, five ambassadors in every embassy. And uh, people should note that the prosecutor who had you in his sights was Patrick Fitzgerald, U.S. attorney in Chicago. Uh, he's now representing Jim Comey. And the, you know, the, the echoes of prosecutorial uh, abuse and the use of uh, government, state authority uh, to target people. Any thoughts? Yes, we, we found the prosecutors, including the FBI uh, contribution, uh, uttering absolute untruths almost every day. There was never any sanction for it. I, I have to say, Laura, I know you're a well-qualified lawyer. I'm a lawyer. I mean, I haven't practiced for 50 years, but I am, in theory, a lawyer. And uh, uh, any serious jurisdiction except the United States would disbar most of these prosecutors. It's absolutely outrageous what they do. And as everybody knows, basically what they do is they target somebody, they round up everybody near them in whatever activity is objected to, say you'd better jog your memory or there's a, an obstruction of justice going on here and a conspiracy to subvert justice and you'll be charged. But if you can jog your memory successfully and help us, then you have an right. immunity from perjury and carry on. Well, they use the... Uh, That's how you get a 98 percent conviction rate, a North Korean rate of conviction. It's a wow. wonderful country, but there's a real problem in the justice system. Uh, Conrad Black, um, really happy that you got that pardon and can't wait to see you in the United States. So come, come on the show in person when you're in the United States. Uh, All right. I'd always be honored to do it, Laura. Thank you. All right. You take care.